Hi, we're talking about the art of hosting and how you can play the perfect host. Now, if you're having any amount of guests over, chances are there's wine on the menu, right? So what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to tell you six wine accessories that you absolutely must have at home in order to be able to serve wine with panache and style. The first thing you're going to need to get the party started is uncork a bottle of wine for which you're going to need a corkscrew. The most professional equipment available in the market is the waiter's friend. It is what all sommeliers in restaurants also use. But if you are somebody who is doing this at home, you might want to use something simpler. So like this Le Creuset set, which is, you know, simply smoothly pulling out the cork from your bottle. And all you need to do is turn this, this uh, handle. If you are using this, you'll also need a foil cutter with which to open up the foil, cut the foil through and simply uncork the bottle thereafter. Some of you may also want to invest with a bit more money in something more fancy like this one, which all you need to do is place it on top of the wine bottle, go this way once and voila, your cork is out. The second must-have wine accessory is a wine decanter. The original purpose of a wine decanter is to be able to separate the wine in the bottle from its sediment, particularly with very old wines, and a decanter comes handy. But I'm a huge advocate of the decanter and its use even for younger wines, including reds, whites, roses, and all types of still wines. Because what I find is if you, if you tip the wine into a decanter, it quickly aerates, comes into contact with oxygen. The fruitiness of the wine really comes to the fore, and it makes even the most inexpensive wine taste so much more interesting. So go for one decanter, definitely in your home collection. There are so many brands available in the market, so many fancy shapes, ranging from shapes of ducks and swans and, and snakes, but at the very least, a basic shape with a broad bottom and a flared lip does its job just as effectively. Another absolute must have is a wine glass also important. If you try drinking the same wine out of this glass vis-a-vis -a, -vis a water glass, you will see there's a huge world of a difference. A wine glass has a huge impact on the way the wine actually tastes on your palate. And what you're really looking for is a glass with a steady base, a long enough stem for you to be able to hold it comfortably, a broad base and a narrow rim. They come in a variety of styles, range of quality levels, and so many different brands offering different shapes for different styles of wines. But at the very least, what you need is a basic wine glass that does its job just as well. If you don't want the fizz from your party to run out, what you need in order to keep all your wines, including your reds, whites, roses, but particularly your sparkling wines, chilled throughout the evening is an ice bucket. An ice bucket is very, very handy because unless you have this, what you find yourself doing is constantly running to the refrigerator, uh, trying to take your bottle of wine, serving the guests and then having to take it back. Once you have an ice bucket right there somewhere close to you, then you know that you can simply take the bottle of wine out and serve, top up your glasses and then back it can go. The only pro tip for you to remember in case of a good ice bucket is that it should be deep enough deep enough to be able to hold the entire length of the bottle to ensure that it is fully immersed in water and ice. And that is very important because most ice buckets I've seen, they tend to be very shallow, more than half of the bottle is popping out and that doesn't really do the job as effectively in terms of keeping the wine bottle chilled. So just make sure that it is long and deep enough in order to hold the entire length of your bottle and keep it chilled through the evening. What do you do if you're left with some wine at the end of the night in your wine bottle and you want to try and save it for the next day? In this case, what you need, an absolute must-have accessory, is a wine saver. And what does a wine saver do? Exactly what the name suggests, which is it saves your wines. It keeps it fresh and drink-worthy for the next couple of days. So in this case, in case of a sparkling wine, this is the wine saver that works 
very effectively. All you need to do is place it in on top of your wine bottle, press it down a bit, and these little wings, they clasp the edge of the bottle and seal it. In case of still wines, what I like to use is this glass stopper, which comes with a little plastic lining. And I just sort of put it on top of the wine bottle and press it down, and it kind of seals the opening very effectively. I find that when I use this, the wine remains fresh for the next two days and does not oxidize. But a wine saver is so handy, especially for those of us who enjoy an occasional glass of wine. We don't really fancy finishing the whole bottle. You want to have a glass or two and then want to be able to tuck that wine bottle away to enjoy the rest of for the following day. So wine saver guys, that's your must have accessory number five. And finally, accessory number six, and that is a wine preservation system or a wine chiller. Guys, I can't overemphasize the need to have a proper wine preservation system in your home. Look, we all know that wines like to keep in a cool, dark place at a constant temperature with a certain level of humidity. Now, in a city like ours, it's impossible to try and maintain that constancy of environment for our wine bottles. If you are somebody who drinks wine regularly and don't have a lot of very expensive wines, just have a very small collection of wines that you maintain as a just-in-time inventory, then you probably get away with storing your wines normally uh, you know, under the bed or somewhere in your home which is cool. But if you are somebody who regularly buys bottles of wines every time you travel or you're just such a huge wine enthusiast that you end up buying and collecting bottles of wines, then you're definitely going to need a wine preservation system like a wine chiller because this is perfect for keeping your wines in a cool, dark place at a constant temperature between 12 to 14 degrees Celsius and at a humidity level that is needed by the wine to keep fresh throughout its lifespan so that you are able to enjoy wines at their best. So there you go guys, that's not too much to ask for. Just six must-have wine accessories that you need to make sure you have in your bar collection and you are then well on your way to being an absolute wine pro and serving the most stylish wine parties in town. So don't wait, start collecting. If you've enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, give us a thumbs up, show us some love. Please do subscribe to our channel, Sonal Holland Wine TV on YouTube, and give us some comments on which of these pro tips that you enjoyed, which of these gadgets do you already have, and which ones you think you're going to go right out and buy now that you watch this video. And until then, see you next time. Take care, lots of love.